Hey, what's up guys? How is everyone doing today? It is Saturday, June 27th of 2020. Um, I'm going to bring you another quick little video. Um, I found a great little plugin called Auto Boot. You could, once you boot up your PlayStation Vita, you could boot whatever application um, you'd like first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to um, auto boot the uh, one menu that I've installed onto my PlayStation Vita. Um, if you haven't seen the video, I'll link. I'll put the link in the description, along with the, all the other links for the files and stuff like that. Um, this is good, so you don't have to see the crummy live area anymore when you boot up your PlayStation Vita. Um, I like this a little bit better. Um, I don't have only have one game, so it doesn't look that great on one menu right now. But once I start downloading games I, and filling up um, my PlayStation Vita, it'll look a lot better. But um, Let's get into it. Put up the PlayStation Vita. Go to Auto Plugin 2. We're going to do this simply. Instead of editing um, files and stuff like that, I'm going to scroll down to where it says Auto Boot. It only works on 3.60 and 3.65. So for those who don't have it, I do apologize. It sucks. Made me write to the guy who created it to make it work with the latest the firmware. After you install it, it's going to tell you to reboot, so reboot your PlayStation Vita. As you see, mine's rebooting, rebooting right now. It takes about a minute or so. And automatically, it's going to boot into the Vita shell. Once it boots up to the Vita shell, you want to go to uh, the folder that says UX0, or you could call it UXO. Go to the application folder, and this is where remember this is where all the applications are. Um, either write them, write the application down that you want to auto boot, or if you got a good memory, remember it. So I had to write it down. After that, back out with, this, with the L button. Go to data. Go to auto auto boot folder. Highlight the boot. Dot CFG. Hit X. Hit X again. And as you can tell, it says Vita shell. Delete that with the square button. And if you picked out an application that you want to auto boot from when you start up the system, um, type that in right now. For me, um, the UI that I want to have booted up is the one menu. So as you can tell here, I'm using my fat Vienna sausage fingers, um, type it in Vita mem menu. Now, it took me a little while to figure out how to back out of this and stuff like that. See, as you can tell, you just have to hit uh, the circle. Once you back out, hit the circle again, and it's going to tell you to save. Yes. Back out. Now you want to reboot the whole system. Now, once this process is all done, um, you save the config file and stuff like that. The system is booting up right now. You are good to go. Um, you can launch your application, whatever it might be. It might be that Nintendo UI or um, the one menu. As you can tell, I can't uh, swipe for crap. But uh, at any rate, um, this is the one menu. It booted up perfectly fine. And that's it. It's easy. It beats... Uh, Messing around with files, moving files around, and typing in a long code just to get the boot auto boot running. So auto plugin two is the best way to do things. Um, thank you everyone, and I hope everyone has a good rest of the weekend wherever you guys are.